just showing up. I'm just showing up. We are live. Mona's Mon just showing the uh, ebook for the 30 Day Blitz. Yeah, we have an ebook out there. I hope a lot of people pick this up actually on the weekend. I'm so happy. Did yeah. you see uh, Icon did a big blast on their email? They did. They did. Thank you, Icon. Thank you, Icon. Big right. shout out. Icon, thank you so much. We are back. It is Titan Tuesday, and that means we have the master blaster himself, Big Johnny, the CEO of Titan Medical. And I'm, I'm representing some of the merch over at Titan Medical. And let me just say right off the bat, this is very comfortable. Um, it, yeah, this is, this is one of those. I don't think I can bench in this. I think I'd slide right off. <laughs> Just silky it's, smooth, huh? It's silky smooth and soft. <laughs> I, I don't think I want to train it. I don't want to wreck this thing. <laughs> Slide right up. I got some nice sweatsuits coming your way too. So wait till you get them. You're gonna love them. Style and dogs. So those are my two favorite things. Style. Yeah. I will get from uh, you and Mona and the dogs. Yeah. I have it. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> um, this is great today. Uh, I sent over. If you guys are new to this platform what i did was i have a group called the titan crew and i really try to coach these individuals that are um committed to with sweat equity you know uh, it's free to those that subscribe to my training and nutrition that's right you heard that guy so don't ask me during this live how you get that's what happens so uh one thing i get to do is i get to work with these people that are really focused on taking care of their health and we have some of their blood works and we're going to, we're going to talk to you about how we can optimize their health to the very best of their ability. And the range of ages we have today are, are great. Cause we have a, a guy who's a, a young pup in his uh, early thirties. Um, we have a, a guy in his fifties and then we have one of, uh, one of my favorite Titan crew members, Mary, who's with us today. And I think we're going to start out with Mary because she is one of these people that is loyal to the commitment to make herself better. And uh, Johnny, her question was, she um, just got prescribed uh, testosterone and NAD is a couple of the things that she was prescribed and she did her first testosterone shot. And she would like to know a feedback on when will she notice a, a change? A difference in her body and everything. Yeah. When will she feel better? I guess is the is her question because again, I think her hormones have been uh, a, a roller coaster. Is it be a nice term? Yeah, and and then just for everybody to understand, Mary is not a competitor. Okay, she is a woman and her. Uh, say late 40s early 50s Mary you look good so I, I can't even tell how old you are but um, she's just doing this solely because she's been having problems with her hormones um, and she is definitely giving it a try however I just want everybody to understand what we have with Mary um, and it's a good point. Yeah. It's a good point because I see she's doing a testosterone. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to think, what, what, oh, is she's she competing or something? And it's no. like, wow, you guys are so no, removed from no, reality. No, no, no. She's <laughs> absolutely not a competitor, never competed. She does work out. She's been having some health issues over the past year. And now finally, she, the doctor told her she needs to be on uh, testosterone because her hormones and her test was really low however she decided to start she did a first injection and now she's just wondering john what how long does it take like mike said until she feels better uh is I it mean, two weeks so a month yeah testosterone i mean it's gonna have an ester usually it's sipinate they're giving women still um now you gotta make sure you do not overdose yourself on testosterone and it's real easy to do too because some pharmacies will still give you the 200 milligrams per ml and if you try to get five milligrams out of that i mean it's like barely on an insulin syringe we'd even see or even be able to inject some do it five milligrams per ml um they're making them for women directly so you know you got to see which one that is if even on that one you want to make sure that you're getting the right dose and you're not overdosing on it but you should feel better within a week or two I oh, would wow. say, I mean, oh, you, wow. yeah, usually the ester is like three to four days 
five days kick in. I mean, so she should be hitting that that peak range probably within five to seven days. And at that point, she should start feeling better through the month. Um, but like I said, retest. And make sure you're retesting like three or four days in after your injection or how your provider wants you to. It's not, not up to me, I guess. But I would. This is actually a, actually a, this is a Titan, this is a Titan. um medical yeah yeah Yeah. mary is oh uh, yeah she came right over with me she came right over with me to you guys she and and here here's a side note i i I had her somewhere else yeah one second Uh, we had her somewhere else and they loaded her up and her hormones got worse Uh, and so it was it was a nice it was like okay kid whoa this is not and she said she's felt the best I, and she's already started with you guys, I think, a month yeah. or two. But this month. next level is yeah. the testosterone. So she's actually yeah. right with you guys. She's 50. Yeah. There awesome. she is right there. So Mary. Hi, Mary. Yeah, so you should start <laughs> within two weeks or so. They usually say a month here. But two weeks, you should start feeling better. And then that should start getting better all the way around. If you are starting to, if you don't feel as good as you think you should, or you feel like something's off, then that means you can contact us directly. Call or text us. And just tell the staff what's going on. We'll triage it with the, the provider. Make sure you're all good to go. Um, sometimes like some of these that. different things need to be tweaked, right? So we want to make sure we dial you in. And once we get you dialed in, you're going to be perfect. But first. the best thing to do is be honest with us. Tell us what's going on. Um, and let us, you know, make sure we direct you in the right way and, and, and get you dialed in. And like I said, once you're dialed in, you should be good to go and you should be feeling amazing. And remember, uh, it, it doesn't take a whole bunch it's quality over quantity and making sure that you're getting the right dose, not just overdosing a whole bunch of different medications. I love that. I love the retest. Yes. You know, well, I love the fact that, that they are available on the call if she needs to talk to them. Like she could just literally yeah. call Titan Medical, get her provider on the phone. Yeah. And she doesn't have, you know, all, all the ads at the companies. I remember it was through email. They wouldn't even talk to you. Yeah. So that's actually really, really good to have that option. Absolutely. I love that. I person call or text. Even if you're on the go or you can't talk, you can text us and we'll text you back. I love it. I love Mm -hmm. it. Let's, let's go for another one of these bad boys. Um, you have an older gentleman from me, uh, over there on the, uh, uh, paperwork. And, uh, we spoke about this one a while back. Uh, his, his testosterone is phenomenal. It's, it's phenomenal for a 20 year old, but this guy's in his fifties. Um, and so it, it's, it's another one of these Clark Bartram guys that are, it's incredible, but I've noticed with a lot of these guys that have this huge testosterone level, even at my age, mm-hmm. their free testosterone is in the gutter. Like nothing. And I, I think you can see that there well, as well as, is that it is not even really performing, uh, even in the middle of the range. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So I mean, it's, it's total testosterone at that, that level. If it is natural, 1,061 is higher than the reference range. Right. Awesome. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know, that's what people pay for. Right. And don't even get sometimes, you know, from the regular doctor, whatever it is. So having that, that number is amazing. So at that point, you should be very proud of that. Um, the free testosterone, like we talked about, like, you know, before, this needs to be optimal too as well. And <clears throat> by a general practitioner's uh, you know, read of this lab, he's going to be within normal range. So there's nothing wrong to a general practitioner. What was now, his uh, free, not, testosterone. free testosterone? His free testosterone is 8.1. And the reference range is 7.2 to 24. So, you know, he, he's, barely. A, he's barely, he's at the bottom barrel, but he's normal. He's just on the low normal side. So you want to optimize this one way, shape or form. Now, you know, I can optimize this. We could optimize this in one way by taking Danazol. Can I ask a question before we fix it? Can I ask a question? Why would this be? Why is this with somebody in my age range? uh, Their T levels are very, very great, but their free testosterone seems like it's always in, in the gutter in that sense. Why is there a commonality to this? Is it just age? Is it just one of those things? I mean, it's age, you know what I mean? But it, it, it's dependent on the person too. I mean, what they went through, environment, food intake. I mean, all these different things, 
they're going to play a, a role in how somebody is aging and how their hormones are declining because they're going to decline one way or shape or form. I don't care who right. they are. Right. As they get older, it's going to happen. Um, it's just, you know, at this level, like his total testosterone looks like it's, it's awesome, but free doesn't. So, I mean, this could be an age thing, you know, Cause I mean, it, whatever the guys that we're speaking about, wise. these guys that we're speaking about eat well, they exercise, they really live the lifestyle, that Titan mentality lifestyle, but still something's off. And I think. When, when we talk to these people, they're like, oh, I'm great. I'm, I'm doing so good. And then you see the numbers and you realize they may feel good for them, but there's something off still. Right. They're not optimal. This, this so, could be optimized for sure. Now, the other thing I looked at was the FSH and the LH. So the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone. So those are both middle of the road, you know, I mean, to a certain degree. Um, you know, you could bump those up possibly, and that could possibly create more testosterone which create more free testosterone too as well i mean there's some different treatments you could do there for them but you know i mean i don't i like i said it'd have to be environment age genetics i mean all these things play a pivotal role in what those numbers are going to be and at that point nobody's ever the same so you know what's this guy might be doing and where his numbers are at might be different than what me and you are doing and what our numbers are at yeah yeah. Fully agree. You know, I just, I definitely, I definitely, this one, this, this cat here is, is living the lifestyle. And I see the, the effort he puts in is not reaping the reward that he could even at this stage of the game. And I, I don't want him to continue to uh, push like he's doing with his numbers like they are. I, my recommendation will be what you tell me you think he should do to optimize his health yeah i mean listen you know for his age and i don't like you to say that just to be in general like this person you have good health but for his age those numbers are unseen now it's whole testosterone i'm telling you you ask most 50 year olds and they go in for a blood test what i've seen in blood tests and i've never seen that number on a blood test for a 50 year old i've seen a 56 year old like at 800 and i was impressed by that yeah but his, his free wasn't that good either you know, I remember, I remember it was, it was a little bit above the range, but it wasn't optimal. So, I mean, it's have to be something else, but everything else on his blood test looks really, really good. I mean, you know, to a certain degree, I mean, there's a little bit of tweaks here or there you can make, but he, you could tell he lives a healthy lifestyle. Let's put it that way through his blood work. I mean, even his kidney functions, they look pretty good. You know, his glucose was a, a couple points off, like, but I mean, you know, that's his fasting glucose. I mean, his hemoglobin A1C was a 5.0, which is, is great. It's better than mine. So, I mean, you know, he's definitely got his things together. I mean, if he wants to optimize that level, there might be a couple of workarounds that you do, but do you really want to ruin that total testosterone level? Or if that comes down and you get a higher free, will we be happy with that? You know, that's, you know, some people are stuck on the number. Some people are just stuck on the way they feel. Couldn't we, should be couldn't we bring up his, uh, with peptides of some sort and, uh, and a, a, uh, a schedule of some things that you think would help boost up that free testosterone without going and hurting his uh, regular testosterone. So the usual remedy that we usually use for free testosterone is Danazol and it will work immediately. It will boost that up to 50. I mean, that's how, how potent it is and how fast it works. The problem is, is that it could ruin that number of that total testosterone. So that's always a, it's, 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 it might happen, might not. So, you know, there's a risk there. Now, the other way that you could possibly do it is you could take FSH injectable, raise that FSH up, produce more testosterone, which will possibly, you know, produce more free testosterone and will not harm your total testosterone. So it's not going to plummet your range. Um, that's the only workaround that I would see that, that might work. I mean, other than that, you know, free testosterone, it's going to be, it, it's tough. Usually when you... Have a, a good total testosterone, usually free is there. Some people, it does not happen like that, and, or they don't have a good free. It just is what it is. But usually somebody that's low on total testosterone, usually, and free, they increase their testosterone, both levels come up. That's, I mean, you've seen tons more than I've ever seen, but yeah. just going over this this last year and a half or so, looking at yeah. people, it seems like... Uh, as they age, their free testosterone doesn't work as well 
from what I've seen. But again, I'm, I'm with these guys that are in the fitness industry. And so, yeah. And then um, peptide wise for, for him, Hercules potion. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that could possibly, I mean, you know, that could help with the IGF-1 and stuff like that. Free testosterone. Yeah, I, I don't know. But Hercules Potion is definitely going to be one that's going to be good to help them optimize his performance for sure, 100%. Yeah, because I'm thinking uh, still, I'm thinking still if, 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 I don't think the risk is worth the reward. I do want his free testosterone. And so we'll start thinking of uh, remedies to try to help and do more research on that as well. But yeah, I don't want to hurt his total testosterone, obviously. Right. But I still want that whole gas of tank to work. Absolutely. You. you want to utilize that, that, that tank of gas that's up to that reservoir. And then uh, would H, HCG or something like that come into play or would that hurt also the total t free testosterone? Um, it, it would raise total and free. I just, you know, I don't want it to play with that, uh, with that testosterone, that total. It might, it might come back a little bit lower. It might come back at 800 next time he tests or 700. And then, you know, I don't want to be upset at me. I had a thousand. And I'm like, oh, well, well that, that's a know. good point you make. But isn't, but isn't doesn't that range slightly change? Because I know Clark Bartram again, I go, I go back to him because he's a great reference for a guy that's 60 yeah. with a, his numbers have been as high as uh, 840. Yeah, 900. But also on other tests, they're as high as the high 600s. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. fluctuate quite a bit. Is yeah. that not a thing that testosterone levels fluctuate? Absolutely. Absolutely. Testosterone definitely fluctuates, um, especially from the morning to noontime. So the next thing you look at somebody's blood test is when they took this test. And it'll tell around the blood test. And like his test was taken at 839 a.m. locally um, on 29. So, you know, for this, your testosterone levels are always going to be the highest in the morning. So when you wake up in the morning, that's why usually you get morning erections and everything like that. It's because you're, you're free and total testosterone is usually at the highest. And throughout the day, they start plummeting down, 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 down. So at that point, later in the day that you take a blood test, the lower those levels are probably going to be. Okay, because I was trying to, I'm curious on this, is that I, I think my point was that a thousand is great. But wouldn't 800 with a large range of free testosterone be better than a thousand and, and your free testosterone is in the tanker? I would say so. Yeah. I, I mean, I would for sure. A hundred percent. I definitely would. I mean, but some people, like I said, mental, they, they get hooked on that number and you know, that's what they think they're going to need to stay at to, to be able to perform what they're doing. But that's not what true. Would, what would John do if John's would numbers definitely, was a thousand? and your free was at nine, would you go, hey, I'm cool with a number of six or seven where my free testosterone is at the peak of what it could be? I mean, I would like to be at the peak for sure, optimal. I guess it would come back down to the person and you know, what, what kind of shape are they in? Are these guys like dice, like cover model, ready to go people? And if they are, do you think that they need to change? Cause I don't want to ever push somebody into something that they don't want to do, but you know, at that point, you could optimize and probably be better. So, you know, for that, you know, I, I would say, listen, if I was 50 years old, I would do whatever I had to do to optimize my best levels. Let's just put it like that. So if I had to optimize free testosterone, I had to lose, lose a little bit of total, it is what it is. I would probably do that. Because, you know what, I'm 50 years old. So if my total testosterone starts really tanking down after the treatment, then, you know, I guess it is what it is. And I have to take testosterone because I don't have it, but oh, that's a know, great I mean, point. Just, that's a great point. It's, it really is a choice of the person, but I would optimize and go that route um, and live my best life and make sure I could, you know, do what I want to do and keep progressing. That makes, that makes perfect sense to me. It seems like you're at 50 at this point. So what, what are you waiting for at that stage? You're I mean, only going to decline like 30, more. 30, 40 years? Yeah, I mean, you know, live your best I mean, at that point. Well, that's running, a great question. Is, can the free test be too high? If your testosterone level's in a, in a great range. I mean, I don't think free testosterone is going to be too high. It, it is going to hurt you. Um, you know, DHT levels and stuff like that. Now, talking about, you know, you know, male pattern baldness and all that stuff. Now, this could be a factor if your testosterone levels are too high. 
you know um there's other things that could they both have great hair <laughs> The guys we're you talking know, about, yeah. it's crazy. The guys we're talking about both have great hair. And they're Clark's 60 and has, huh. you know, yeah, he's yeah. Kurt Russell hair. You know, it's like yeah. Steve from New York. Yeah. And the, 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 and the, and the other guy has hair. great hair. Yeah. Uh, so that kind of interesting that probably their DHT is very low then. Um, if, if they're natural, it's normal. Usually yeah. your body is, yeah. you know, it's balanced. And at that point, it doesn't start getting off balance until you start introducing things into it to make it off balance. If that makes any sense. And this goes back to so why I think most uh, bodybuilders that do a large amount go bald in their 20, early 20s. Like besides genetics, and we remove all that. Yes. But besides yes. that, it, it's uh, that's why the the similarity. You know, I see. Really uh, I see some of the people on here. They're commenting. Uh, they say, well, hopefully when I'm going to be in my 50s, I'm going to start using it a small dosage. Yeah. But you don't know if you don't check your blood work, you might need it right yeah. now. The you, second. you know, like the second. It's not that because you get True. old now, you need tests. Like uh, Clark Bartram, he's 60, he doesn't need it. You know, his testosterone yeah. level was 900 almost. But That's we have awesome. guys, they are like 30 and they absolutely need it because their test was like a 300, you know? So yeah. it doesn't matter really the age. Yeah, of course it does. Cause as you get older, obviously the levels drop, but even if you're 30 or 35 or you, whatever, you have to check the blood work. That way you kind of have an idea if your body needs it or not. And you only obviously will be subscribed from Titan Medical if you need it. They're not gonna give you anything that you don't need. Trust me. I have That's proof. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so, I, 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 right I, love that. I love that. Yeah. Right, Johnny? That's, all about. That's right. That's definitely right, Mona. I definitely want to make uh, sure people are taken care of. Um, so, so go ahead, Jeff. You were saying in the morning, if you do the test, you know, your numbers will be a little bit higher. Um, yep. And later on in the day, they'll go a little bit lower. So, like, yep. Outside of like consistently taking a test at like the same time, what what time do you recommend? Do you recommend to just do that in the morning when the numbers will be a little bit more or to get like that truest do, reading? Do the blood test? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean if you want I mean if you want the, the truest number and the highest number, you're gonna have blood test in the morning. Yeah. If you wanna be consistent yeah. with what you're doing, I would blood test the exact same time as on the follow up. That way you're gonna be consistent with what's going on timing wise. And then you can do doses too to make sure that you're at the same point, you know, you were, and you're dialed in. Once you're dialed in, if you're taking the medication consistently at that time and scheduled, you, you'll be you'll be set and you shouldn't be fluctuating anywhere else. I would have to suggest doing the blood test first thing in the morning or later. Ooh. Because the numbers were, he said the numbers right, were Right, ridiculous, morning. right. It'll be lower than that. So I mean, I just think about it. A lot of people have low T, they get up in the morning and then, like, just I'll give myself. Oh an example. wow! Oh, wow! You know, I get up in the morning and, and just do whatever I need to do. But at that point, like, you know, once you get introduced to testosterone and you need it and you use it, you're gonna be like, oh, sun's gonna be shining on you. That's an interesting. I, I mean, this is a silly kind of thing, but you sit there, and, and maybe some of these people that go to see the doctor, the family doctor, and their ranges are. 450 right and they did their test in the morning but they don't realize by by late afternoon if they did the blood test it's like clark bartram drops a couple hundred you know and it's their test lot their levels at 250. so it's that's an interesting uh insight on that well, that's why the guys with low testosterone want to come home and go to sleep they go lay on the couch it's not that they don't want to spend time with the family, the wife, you know, do all those things or do something for themselves. They're just beat and exhausted. So that's the first thing they do, man. There's like, wife's like, what are you doing? Are you going to sleep again? And I'm, like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm just exhausted. You know, strong people mentally will get it done no matter what. Low testosterone, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. You're just wired that way and you're going to take care of your responsibilities. But after all that's said and done, prioritizing after that, you're going to probably sleep or pass out um, and not have the energy that you want to have, for sure, 100%. Been there, done that. And most people, I think, most people, I think, think, think 
because they're living their own lives is, is that they realize when they're 35 or 40 or 45 definitely 50s that they should be fatigued and completely zonked after work and they come home and they cut it cut it off and they don't realize it might not be their work it's just how their body is functioning at this point yeah it's true i mean i mean and you shouldn't have to feel like that that's not how it should be. You shouldn't have to feel like that. There's plenty of guys out there that are 50 years old, 60 years old, that are banging it out, man. I mean, uh, they're, they're out doing 20 year olds. So, you know, if they can do it, so can you. I, I, I keep going back to like Robbie Robinson. <laughs> yeah. Like Robbie comes into that. He and again, if you didn't know he's 80, the way he walks in like a freaking. It's better than a 25 year old. He walks in like a freaking Clydesdale walking in. To get out of his way. Yeah. You know, he's coming. He's taking that bench. Yeah. But it, it's cool to see that. That, that, that. Oh. It, like we always say when we train together, our testosterone levels going up just because we're around each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's so motivating to see. I mean, you know, it is what it is. So going back to this one guy for a second, because <clears throat> because I think he's very um, opinionated when it comes to this, that he doesn't want to go down that, that road to optimize his health. What kind of things, though, he could do peptides-wise to help him? I think the Hercules potion, maybe the uh, injectable L-carnitine, I think the um, those Definitely. other things there too, peptide wise right now, and then also he's uh, achy, you know, little yeah. little owies and elbows yeah, and knees. Yeah. He's again in his fifties, and so um, anything to uh, do those. Is there a recommendation that you can give for a starter kit in a sense for him? Yeah. yeah. So what I would recommend doing probably would be BBC 157, TB 500, healing package together, do Hercules Potion, do that before the strenuous activities, the workouts, get the optimal performance there. Um, and then depending on if he wants more energy, I, you know, I, this is kind of where, you know, it's kind of curtailed to the patient of kind of what they need and what they want and what they're looking for result-wise too as well. Because at that point, I would probably put them on Titan Complete, which has your B-complex, B12, all three of your branched chain amino acids in it. L-carnitine is also in that, and mix of thionine and acetylcholine. So Titan Complete, Hercules Potion, BPC-157, TB-500. I think that would be a good starting point for him. Um, you know, if there was other things that he maybe wanted to do, I'd maybe do maybe IGF-1, maybe CJC with Ipromorelin. That would definitely help with lean body mass, leaning up, the anti-aging effect, kind of what he's going for. Um, and I think that would be a good starting point. And to say, hey, listen, where where are we going right now? Where Where is this bus taking us? Is it get, taking us to building mass? Are we trying to cut up more? And then you know, we want better vitality? You want better sexual vitality? What are you trying to do? And then kind of go there and then add on little building blocks as we go along that journey. Is there an injectable glutamine? Is there injectable glutamine? I think there's glutamine yes. in the Hercules potion yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. The reason I did Hercules potion, I put nine components in there. And the reason I did this is because before all you could get from the pharmacy was the single component. So yeah. imagine giving yourself nine injections. No. You don't want to no. do that. <laughs> That's not optimal. No. Like I give myself four or five injections a day. Not No normal person out there usually does that. They, they'll be, if they do one a day. I, I'm good. Maybe some do too, but when you start talking about that, so that's why I combined all these things together because you get so much bang for your buck in the one injection and you don't have to do the nine different injections to get all these components into one. Um, so that's really where the winner's at. And I, you know, on some of these things, if you take Titan Complete, the only overlapping thing that's in there is L-carnitine. So if you doubled up on that, that's not going to do you any harm. It's only going to do you good for sure. I'm going, to, I'm going to jump off the blood work that you have, and I'm going to finish up with the young, the this young, stud, thirty year old, um, young blood. I hope he's still out here watching. I told him to tune in today because we're going to talk about his blood work. Um, uh, we're going to we're going to talk about a guy um, that uh, is overweight, well overweight. We won't say the names. No, we can't um, say we the name. We can't say the name. But Only if they allow us. He's a good 60, 70 pounds overweight. 
Um, but he's also in his fifties. Uh, is there anything uh, like a Hercules potion? Oh, carnage. I, come on now. Stop laughing. No, I would like him to do something. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, Listen, if we cut. give him okay. tears epitide or semi-glutide, he's golden. That's going to help him, right? Oh, my God. Weight loss? Listen, that's the ace. Yeah. That's the ace in the, I, up the sleeve. I'm telling you. I know you, you want to help he, him. He, 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 um, he likes to drink a little bit. All is, right. Is still... Eat that. We're talking about you. Yeah, <laughs> no. it's okay. But that's all right. You can still take can this. Can he still enjoy his weekends? Um, yes. Okay, I mean, this is a guy that I've tried to talk to about dieting and so on. I mean, so tried forth, to talk to for the past twenty five years. Twenty five years, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna make dieting easier. Let's okay. Put it that way. Will it so, keep him uh, uh, content instead of running it will out? Keep him content. He, he will not. He will not be fiending for any food. Let's put it that way. He'll be wanting not to eat that much food, and when he does eat, he'll pick better portions, guaranteed. See that's he, even think, if he I puts everything on his plate, it. he's not gonna be able to finish it. I think that's just great information. I think, and again, it's it's oh, he doesn't have to change much of his lifestyle. I wish he would, but listen, yeah, everybody that's watching this, I don't endorse him not changing his lifestyle. I wish he right. would, especially because of the age now. But right. again, he's he doesn't. It's not there yet. So I think this process of doing the that step might help him get there without him even knowing it will definitely so that's it you know, that's a just huge uh, thing. i just seen uh sharon osborne was talking about it. she lost 43 pounds and she doesn't you know ozzy i guess doesn't like the way she lo lost so much weight and stuff like that so i mean it works it yeah it really yeah. These, these medications are like they're superheroes in their own sense for sure as far as helping people um yeah, I have a question about the NAD. I Here we go. It's NAD. I yeah, have yeah. not used it yet. I have the NAD. NAD uh, First, NAD. will you explain what NAD is? Sure. So <clears throat> NAD is a, a coenzyme, uh, and it's in every living cell of your body. Um, what it does is it basically increases ATP in the body. Uh, it helps with cellular rejuvenation of cells. They there you deteriorate go. or are deteriorating in the body. It's great for a multitude of different things from anti-aging, protecting your DNA from disruption or uh, destruction at that point. And uh, also it helps out with mental clarity and natural energy throughout the day. So that's why I you know, got it. You take this <laughs> stuff, it should be, you should be laser focused in, uh, you know, depending on what the dose is that you take, you'll feel it kick in. Like literally feel it kick in. So is there a different uh, dose that you can take? And I don't know if anybody out there knows yeah. this, but this is like the big buzzword right now uh, for longevity. And a lot of these companies are coming out now and really pushing uh, supplementation called NAD mm -hmm. and, and a lot of this right now. So I don't know if anybody's done research on it, but take a look into this. And, and again, feel free to call over to Titan Medical and talk to them about this but this is like a big big I think everybody should be on nad i mean just listen to changer. all the benefits my gosh yeah, yeah. it does it just got so many different benefits it's so good for you health wise um, yeah your body produces it naturally too as well so it's nothing foreign to the body but it does it decrease as you age right as you age as you get sick if you drink alcohol if you smoke all these different things deplete that and glutathione in the body so at that point, um, you know, you don't want to get to those levels. You want to, you want to make sure you replenish your body as far as that goes, uh, you know, and you'll feel amazing. You definitely will feel amazing with NAD. And like I said, I'm mental clarity wise, different doses for different things you want to accomplish. If you want to do a daily maintenance dose, you can do that. If you got some important meeting um, or someone where you got to be really on point, you can take a little bit of a higher dose. There you um, go. And like I said, you know, you'll feel it kick in, and you'll 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 be like, and you'll be on point all day long for sure. I, now this I, goes uh, back to I know that mm -hmm. you want to start that today. I want to start that today, and uh, I just wasn't sure how to take it, so I gotta go through when. What's the best time to take it? I believe it was was the evening or morning. I would take it in the morning. Morning, okay. Because okay. it gives you energy. Gotcha. It'll give me like natural energy in the ATP rush, so I would do it in the morning. 
Um, and clarity. Good work yes, too, I mean, well. I really need that. That it's worth the poke. I hate injections. I would absolutely do that. <laughs> it's worth the, the injection on that. So there you go. So I know that Mary, <laughs> that we talked about earlier, is started her uh, first shot of testosterone and 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 NAD. And then Mona is going to start mm -hmm. today. So after I'm off the so Mona, <laughs> I'm going to ride in there. Depending on how much you take of that injection, I always tell people what's going to happen is you might have a little tightness and warmness in your chest. Don't freak out. People freak out if you don't tell them. Like, oh my God, I had an allergic reaction. I'm dying or something like that. Everything will be fine. So I just want to oh, make, make sure you are bringing that up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you how do you inject this? Is, it's a good disclaimer, is, right? Like, is this right into the muscle or to the yeah, skin? Yeah, you can do it. You can do it IM or you can do it subcutaneously. You're gonna want to do probably about thirty to forty units probably to start to see how you feel. Um, that should give you a, a good little inkling of how it should be. I usually take probably about fifty to sixty myself. Um, so you can work your way up. Just you know, get a feeling of how it is and. I think you're really going to like it. Obviously, it's going to have a ton of health benefits for you. There we go. Write that down. Mm -hmm. let's, let's revisit that next week. I'm so curious to see. John is going to get a message from me as soon as we hang up here. <laughs> well, the me one too. great thing is, I, I don't know if anybody knows this, there is a thing that goes along with pregnancy called baby fog. And, and it usually affects the mother after the baby uh, is born and stuff. And Mona has felt like she has had that brain fog. And so this is one of the big things that I know that we talked to you guys about, about her forgetting things and so on. So this will be interesting to see not just the health benefits from it, but also that baby fog that's uh, a legit thing. Yeah. It is legit, but it also comes in handy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> hey, if you don't do that, oh, baby, <laughs> All right, I love it. I love it. I'm going to start that ASAP, actually. Um, I have another question for you, John. So TB500 and BPC157, we all know if you have an injury, these are perfect to recover, for recovery. Right. Do these injections have to be shot directly into the injury? Or which one of these are going into the injury? Can you just explain that briefly? Sure, sure. So <clears throat> BPC-157 is more site-specific. BPC-157 is more site-specific. And TB-500 works systemically throughout the body. Either one of these, you don't really want to inject directly into the injured area. Um, you can, I mean, you know, like if, if it's a tendon or you don't want to direct subcutaneously, you want to inject closest to the injury of the area. Um, so at that point, you can combine them both in the same syringe and you can inject them both subcutaneously closest oh, to wow. the area. Oh, wow. That's great. That's Real great. simple, yeah, really easy. Enough. Thank yeah. you for that. I didn't know that. For you guys out there too, are, are both of those available right now over at Titan Medical? Yes. yes. Both awesome. are available right now. So for anybody that's out there that has injuries um, or want to be preventative, like I try to live that, uh, make sure to get your order in for that right now. And then uh, obviously the NADs are such a big, big thing. I understand that you guys are having a sale this week, though. Yes. So on Tears Appetite and stuff like that, we got 25 bucks off um, nice. of that. Or I'll tell you what, I mean, if anybody mentions the show, they can get $25 off their NAD order. Whoa, 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 NAD. I whoa. Jeffrey, hit that right there. Put that up on there. <laughs> Put that up on the feed. I love that. Uh, I, can, I, I can, you know, if you want to try it, because Mary says she's doing 50 units three times per week. So I wonder how, how she's done her injections, if she's done her injections yet, and uh, how she's feeling. Mary, you're doing 50, uh, and that's an NAD. Is, is that something you take daily or like Mary's doing three times a week is good? What, what's yeah. the right thing? You don't have to take it daily. If you There's a thousand milligrams that come when you reconstitute the medication. And you can break that thousand units up to however you want to use it, right? Um, you know, if you want to spread it out and have it work for the month, then that's when you do it only a couple times a week. If you really got, you know, you got to study all week, you got finals coming up, you got a big business venture you need to do. And you need to stay up for a week and you need to take this every day, you can take it every day. So you can take it every day. You can do maintenance dosing if you want to. It's totally up to the, the person. That's what would a maintenance dose be on a daily? 
15, 20, Daily? like that range? Yeah, 15, 20 units. I should probably do like you know, 20. 20 units, 5, 10. I'd have to do the calculation. I'd probably about 20. I feel like units. this is like um, the movie Limitless. We'll 25 Bradley units Cooper. Probably. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, you know, you start taking an AD and you start getting these problems and you know playing chess in two seconds. This is like limitless. We used to I call it limitless. Joke. Uh, is it really? Is it really? That's what we. That's what we used to call it limitless. Yeah, we used to call it limitless, and um, you know, because that's the kind of feeling that you get. The laser focus. See, I, I, I got tingles. We're, again, I'm thinking the right path here. I love that, and I did not know that. I got a. There's, I got Joe other... on this on here, but. I want to say, oh. Joe, you, you better get to Titan Medical and get your blood work done. Piedmontese. Yeah. Joe, Joe, Piedmontese. Piedmontese. Uh, we, have, we have the celebrity, and also somebody likes to rub it in on me that he got his Christmas tree and his uh, Christmas <laughs> Joe house. Uh, Joe runs Piedmontese over there, which is the beef you guys know the we live best. by. The, the incredible. And, and we got to send johnny some yeah. fillet joe we gotta send titan oh medical my gosh. Some, some stuff man we gotta send them a box oh, joe yeah uh, man um, everything they have it's amazing but let's get him over there that way we, he could also be jacked besides having the christmas stuff up early but jo john eats like steak, john eats steak, steak, steak daily yeah. every day that's my every boy <laughs> he does need a tomahawk uh, I know, right i know <laughs> that being said let's let's finish this on a strong note i have a a young 30 year old that just got his blood work again over at Titan Medical and had his um, discussion with the wellness provider and everything. And they, we haven't got to the point where he's received his recommendation. Um, but I was just looking over, he wanted me to look over, which is nice. All these Titan crew members love to send over their blood work to me and have me look at it. Now, I'm not an expert at all. Uh, but the one thing I do get to see is it's it's pretty simple to read uh, the the uh, you know I saw that there was some buns uh, his creatine creatine levels were a little high and stuff like that. Is there a recommendation that you find to take care of this? Yeah, so um, I see the the, the 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 bun the bun creatine ratio was a little high, uh, but his eGFR, which is his kidney function, was at eighty two, um, which is pretty good. You know, at that point, listen, this could be just a little minor dehydration. Totally. So nothing to stress about. Nothing to stress about at all. I mean, Great. listen, he drinks some water, retests this, he should be fine. I mean, the EGFR looks good too as well. So, I mean, like I said, that that, that should be, you know, like minor. Um, everything else, I mean, as far as that goes, even his glucose looked all right. And then we looked at the CBC with his complete blood cell count, which is the above test. Everything looked good too there as well. Um, ALT, AST, his liver enzymes, everything looked good there. His cholesterol, so his HDL was the only thing that was out of, out of by one point out of whack, um, by one point lower. But his total cholesterol was good. Triglycerides were great. So for the LDL, LDL great. Yeah, his HDLs. So probably incorporate a little bit more healthy fats into his yeah. diet avocado he eats one of those a day you know what i mean but if you look at his ratio too his ldl to hdl ratio oh my god the total is it's a lower test it's great the, the total is 145 and i think they, they want you below 200 199 or something it's like yeah, incredibly and great but it also gives us a range on how we can manipulate and, and change his diet to make him even healthier so i do like that yeah no it's nice i mean you know, when we looked at his thyroid, you know, at that point, it's all within range. But I like to see that thyroid, the TSH a little bit lower. It's in Right, I noticed, I noticed that. But I would like to have that a little bit lower. I think if he had that a little bit lower, he'd definitely be, he'd probably be a little bit leaner. Maybe, you know, metabolizing a lot faster. Um, his IGF-1, 211, you know, 290 is the top of the range. That's a decent score. You know, it's not bad. You know, usually people within halfway, the middle of the road when it comes to IGF-1 numbers. So his IGF-1 looks good. So we go back down to the testosterone and the free. So take, take a look at that free testosterone again. Because his testosterone uh, is decent. It's great. It's Yeah, I mean, but for his age. Uh, okay. All right. I mean, you know, I, I think at 35 years old, you know, you're going to want an 800 at least. But 637 is, is okay. You know, that's that's reputable. 
But when we go down to the free testosterone at 10, this guy's probably having some low testosterone symptoms, whether it's energy or, you know, maybe brain function. I don't, I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't know the guy, but it, it could definitely be some, some issues there. So, you know, with this guy, it really comes down to how are you feeling and what symptoms are you having? You know, because that's what the, the medical provider is going to look at, not just the number. She's going to talk right. to the patient, right. too, and look at the paperwork and make the correlation of what she wants to do or what he wants to do treatment-wise. So, I mean, you could definitely optimize that for sure, 100%. I mean, this is something where you could optimize it because you're at 637. Even if you just optimize the free on a treatment to see if that pushes up, see where your toll is going to be. If it goes down a little bit, okay, well, I need to go on testosterone anyway probably. So, at that point, that will knock out two birds with one stone. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I was noticing too, and, and curious. Now, I, I will speak. I do know him, and I know he is a savage. And again, one of these guys that eats well and trains well, and also, um, from my interactions throughout time, he keeps his uh, cortisol level pretty content. Uh, he's a very happy guy, always good mood, um, uh, and always moving and grooving. And so, again, uh, it'd be interesting to see how he feels and if there's something that's there. But again, here's another one that could probably do the uh, Hercules potion, the IGF to help um, to get those workouts even a little bit more intense. Absolutely. If he needs a boost of energy, ECA stack plus, there you go. There we go. Caffeine, aspirin, B12 and chromium. And it's definitely gonna get you going for sure. I'm writing that down too. I love it. I love it. That so won't help, the, that won't help you stay lean and give you energy. So that's that's not what you need. That's what I need, no. bro. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm good. I just need the NAD right now. NAD, <laughs> NAD for Mona. <laughs> that's all I need right now. <laughs> Johnny, this was so helpful today, man. You really helped some. We pinpointed some people, um, and then again, for anybody that was watching, the people that did their blood work. They're not crazy bad, but they can still optimize their health so much. And I think that's what I, I really wanted to bring to this. And then uh, again, we started off with Mary, who I am grateful to Titan Medical for on helping her live a better life. So I know she's had a lot of issues and stuff. And I think it's great seeing somebody with such passion for health and fitness to push it like she's doing and, and go through. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So thank you, Titan Medical. Thank you, thank you Johnny. Guys. I appreciate it. Mary, definitely. Guys, so make sure you get there. Today, today, you get a discount yeah. from, N from NAD and all the other products that they have $25 off. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go for sure. I get over there. Mention the show today. Time. Johnny, what do we got going on for Titan Medical the rest of the week? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tears Epitide. So... Tears Epitide, there's $25 off that too as well, that therapy package. It's an eight-week therapy package that's usually $650. So you'll get it for $625. And uh, you're probably not going to find it anywhere more inexpensive than that anywhere in the country. So jump on it while you guys can. If you guys are looking for weight loss, that is the go-to for sure, 100%. No stimulants and pretty much good for everybody across the board, um, counterindication-wise. The only thing is thyroid nodules or thyroid cancer. So if you you don't have that, you're probably optimal and ready to get going on, on tears up the time. There you go. There we go. I appreciate it, Johnny. I appreciate it. And then I'll have these guys, again, reach out. Um, I think the 50-year-old the, the uh, gentleman that we were talking mm -hmm. about needs yeah. to optimize his health and get that free testosterone fixed. For sure. I think that's something. Uh, if you're going to give that much time and, and want to be healthy and want to do the best life, mm -hmm. you got to reach out and touch base with it. Thank you for the uh, the merch as well. I cannot wait for oh, the, yeah. the suits, the yes, track dude. suits. I can't wait to get those suits to you. I, I don't know if they, they should have went out already. I'm going to check with Justin as soon as I'm done with this. Um, and then uh, we are also expecting a, um, I, uh, how would you call it, Jeffrey? A, uh, a gift gift box for um, enhancement in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so I, I, I'll get back to... Uh, I'll do studies on that and get back to you and tell you how that is. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to hear the feedback on that. Right, so for you guys out there too, they, they are uh, fully prepared to help you not just uh, optimize your health, but also take care of everything else as well. That's right. Thanks, Thanks, Johnny. Health too. 
Later, guys.